They say footwear is the foundation of a man's wardrobe. I tend to agree, especially when it comes to boots. A great looking stylish pair of boots can really level up your style. In today's video, gents, five pairs of boots and I'm going to build an outfit off of each. You ready? Let's get into it. First off, gents, let me introduce you to the boots we're going to be building the outfits off of. Right here, we have the President. This is a plain toe, dark brown, classic boot design. Now, this is built off a combat boot design. Remember, there's two schools of dress boots. You got those built off of a dress shoe design that usually have a leather sole. The combat boot design, these are made for comfort, for walking, more for actually sometimes even working in, and you're going to see oftentimes a rubber sole or at least a rubber base. Now, what I really like about these is that they let the leather and the design do the talking. There isn't going to be a bunch of fancy brogue work. You're not going to see a cap toe. You're just going to simply see the design and look and the leather really speaks for itself with this particular type of boot. Next up, we've got a chuck a boot design. Notice that the height only goes up to about mid ankle. We've only got two eyelets. Sometimes on a chucker, you'll see three, maybe four eyelets, but that's about as many as you're going to see here. Other things about the chucka is just simply how we've got the back quarter thrown over on top of the vamp. A very simple, that comes out of the desert boot out of World War II, does a pretty good job of protecting the ankles. Now, the blue suede. I know suede in general, a lot of men are scared of that, but there is weather safe suede out there. Yes, guys, it's a registered trademark. This is actually a type of material that's going to be very resistant to water, to staining. I recommend going with a dark color suede. A lot of people aren't going to pick up on the material to get up a bit closer. And to me, this is just a great looking boot. Next up, we've got the Duke, which is a Chelsea boot. Now, Chelsea's very easy to spot. You notice no laces, no buckles, nothing like that. Instead, it's got a very simple, very clean design. I like Chelsea boots because they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down. Now, this prayer in particular, actually, if you look around the sole, it's got a little bit thicker, heavier sole. I like this in the Midwest where we get snow, we get rain. This is going to be great for outdoor and being able to walk and be able to grip. Now, another thing about the Chelsea is going to be how it slips onto your foot. This one has elastic on both sides. You will see some that are going to have a zipper over on one side. But again, for me, the Chelsea is how it can be dressed up, dressed down. Next up, I've got the captain. Now, this is a classic boot design with one big change on it. We've got the cap toe. Anytime you start to see cap toe broguing, understand that this boot all of a sudden is going to start drawing a bit more attention. It definitely is going to be more casual. Now, the color here. This is a Horween leather, Horween tannery. They're out of Chicago. Very famous for their lighter colored leathers. And the reason being, lighter color leathers, you can as you polish them over time, you can actually start to get some really nice shine. They get better with age. And that's the great thing about light colored boots. Now, I'm not going to lie. You got to take care of light colored boots. They are going to be a bit more work, but when you walk into a room, they're going to command attention. They're going to get compliments. Boot number five, we're going to build an outfit off of Joman, the commander. Now notice the style. This is based off a centuries old European Alpine hiking boot type of style where immediately look at that sole, very different from all the other boots because there is no heel. Because there's no heel, you're actually going to have more of the sole touching the ground, giving you more basically surface area that's touching. It's going to give you a better grip. It's going to be easier on the feet. So if you're walking to and from work, spending a lot of time getting off of, of trains, of buses, this is going to be great for comfort. Another thing, look at the upper. Notice those D rings, that right there, very distinctive to this this particular style. Gents, all the boots you see in today's video are brought to you by Thursday Boots. They're the paid sponsor of today's video and they're a great company. I'm proud to support them for over a year and a half. I've been testing and wearing this particular pair right here and I can tell you they have stood up to the test of time. They are great. I wore these in a Ukrainian winter walking miles and miles through Kiev, Ukraine, through sleet and snow. I took them with me to Thailand. I went to 22 states, hiked the Grand Canyon in these things. They are awesome boots. But there are three things in particular I think you're going to love about Thursday Number one is the price. Go check out the price, guys. For the quality, for the material they use on the upper, for the sole, the overall build, you're going to be amazed at the price point that they come in at. Now, 
Two, let's talk about durability. Like I said, I put a lot of miles on these boots. They stood up to the test of time. They didn't start to fall apart. And the reason being, they use a Goodyear welt. Yes, guys. So, mixed with a great price, you've got a Goodyear welt. Number three on these boots, which you're going to love, is they're incredibly comfortable. So, they use a cork-filled inner center right in here. And also, they've got this nice lining on the inside. So, you actually, your feet don't touch the leather. It's a very thin lining and I find it's great. It's multi-weather. Some of you guys are worried, okay, it gets really cold. I think wearing a wool pair of socks with this for me in weather that was, I think it was like 20 below zero at some point there. I was perfectly fine. So, it is I think overall a great boot. I'm proud to have them as a sponsor. Go check them out. I'm going to link to them down in the description. I wear these boots and I think they're one of the best deals you're going to find out there. All right, gents, let's get into the outfits. Outfit number one. Starting with the dark brown presidents that I talked about, this classic boot design, I'm going to go for a smart casual look. Let's go ahead and match those dark brown boots with a pair of olive corduroy trousers. I really like the idea of going with the olive corduroy, especially this time of the year. Now, for a shirt, let's look at going with a white or light blue simple button down, maybe an Oxford. Now, for a sweater, let's bring in a charcoal v-neck sweater. Next up, let's have fun. Let's throw on a navy pea coat. I'm assuming it's pretty cool out there, so we're dressing for fall here. Finally, let's bring in some glasses. Now, if you don't wear glasses, look at Clubmaster shades. But if you do wear glasses, have fun with those frames, including the Clubmaster, which you can get for prescription glasses. So, that last outfit, pretty good, right? I like the use of color. I like the combination there. But let's get into outfit number two, the first date outfit. And notice I brought in the navy blue suede chuckas, the scout. This particular shoe is going to be the highlight of the outfit. So, what do we want to build on top of this? Well, let's just go with the classic dark, well fitted jeans. Make sure you find the right type for your body type. You don't have to go with slim. You do want to go with a nice clean cut though for your silhouette. So, if need be, you can go with a straight cut. Be very careful of loose cuts unless you're a really large guy and you need that room there. But make sure you go with those dark, well-fitted jeans. Next up, look to bring in a light blue check shirt. Next up, bring in a dark green shawl cardigan. Now, what I love about this color is it's going to work really well with the blue suede shoes. But let's say dark green isn't your thing. Well, then look to bring in a medium gray or a dark gray. Next up, throw in a navy leather belt. And finally, top the outfit off with a great pair of shades. How about a pair of tortoise wayfarers? But remember, you're on a date, so take the shades off when you sit down to talk to her. So, with that last outfit, you think if you wear that, you're going to get lucky? I know I would, but then again, I'm a married man. So, outfit number three, gentlemen, suited and booted. So, these particular boots right here are going to be Chelsea's in general, dark brown like this, a very elegant design. This is something that you can dress up. So, go, let's go ahead and let's look at a casual suit combination. I'm looking at a light brown wool, maybe a tweed suit, something that, yeah, is going to grab a little bit of attention. Now, to have fun with this, let's bring in a navy turtleneck. Now, this may not be a combination that a lot of you guys think you could pull off, but the navy turtleneck is classic. Next up, let's bring in a burgundy patterned pocket square. This is going to be the dash of color that we're going to add to the outfit. Finally, let's top it off with a dark brown leather belt. And outfit number four is the bad boy look. Got the captains. Remember that light colored pair of classic boots with the cap toe. Now, I'm assuming that you've been taking some nice polish to these boots and you don't mind that when you walk in a room, these things command attention. Now, what to wear with these boots? Let's go ahead and bring in a pair of raw selvage denim. Now, you're going to have a little bit of fun. You may cuff this up. You may stack them. You are going to make this denim look great with the outfit. Now, you're also going to bring in a white button down shirt. Now, you could bring in a Henley as well because what we're going to look to put on top of that is a navy crew sweater. Now, here's where you bring in the bad boy image and it's going to work perfect with the boots. They're actually going to work right off each other is a brown leather jacket. Dark brown, medium brown. You can go with something with a little bit of style here. But at the end of the day, this jacket with the boot combination is going to be money. And to top the outfit off, gentlemen, you're going to wear a pair of classic aviators. Outfit number five, the rugged outdoorsman. So, guys, remember those alpine hiking boots, the commanders? We're going to use those and we're going to build off of them starting off with a pair of rugged jeans. So, here you want to go with a pair of jeans that just have an overall manly, very strong type of feel. Again, fit is going to be key for the jeans. Next up, we want to bring in a brown woven leather belt. After that, we want to bring in either a gray or white 
crew neck t-shirt. Now, you could bring in a v-neck t-shirt, especially if it complements your build and you just like v-necks. But I know some guys are going to lean towards crews. But at the end of the day, we're going with a simple t-shirt here. But fit is going to be key. Finally, you want to top it off with a waxed cotton olive green jacket. Make sure it fits you properly in the shoulders and the right sleeve length. So guys, I'm really curious as to which outfit is going to win. So I'm going to be down there in the comments engaging with you. And if you like these boots, you like any of the boots you saw in today's video, go check out Thursday Boots. I'm going to link to them down in the description. Like I said, price, durability, comfort, everything you need in a boot, you're going to find over at Thursday Boots. Like I said, for a year and a half, I've been wearing their boots. I love them. They're a great company and I'm proud to bring them to you. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.